that was my old new Canon AF 35M2 from the 80s. I'm trying to shoot some stuff with film now, so yeah, looking forward to see how these pictures are going to be. Yo guys, I'm back with a new vlog. Um, I did a vlog a while back where I discussed all the different types of overdrive pedals I've used since I started to play guitar and probably the most requested video um, on that video or beneath that video in the comments is to do an episode with my amps. So I think I found all the amps that I used since I started playing guitar. I started out with an acoustic firstly but I think I got an amp and a guitar quite quickly after I started so yeah let's go through them and see what I have used during my I think it's 20 years of playing guitar that's insane so the first one that I got was a Washburn amp so I bought like this package it was a Washburn guitar like a Strat uh, copy really bad guitar and this tweed looking wash, washburn amp and I have no idea how it sounds I don't remember anything I don't I didn't even play it that much at all I was really shy when I started out playing guitar so I remember sitting in like this room far away from all the other people in the house and playing like with the amp on volume one maybe and playing two chords and I was really afraid that anyone could hear me so I probably used that amp five times um, I mostly played unplugged uh, back then so I didn't use it that much at all and I'm not sure how long I had it for but I sold it I sold the guitar and the amp and then I got a Cube 30. I think this was around when Roland first released the Cube series and I remember I wasn't really as bad as I was with the Washburn in regards of being shy and not playing loud. I remember sitting in my room and playing quite a lot with the Cube and it was a really fun amp to, to own. And for some weird reason, I decided to sell it. I think the, um, the Cube 30 was loud enough to play with a band, but I was starting a new school, this um, music school, and I wanted to get a bigger amp. And for some weird reason, I ended up buying this amp. It's probably the worst amp that I've ever tried and ever seen or heard. Um, I think it was called the GMX212 and it was just so bad. Um, I hadn't tried any real tube amps by then I think but still I could feel that something was just way off with this amp and I think I broke one or it broke down and I got another one and I brought it to the school that I started and it was just really bad it, it kind of worked to to rehearse with but I it didn't take long before I realized that I needed to get something else then I bought my first tube amp and I bought it from a friend at at that school and that was the crate vintage club 50 i think i'm not sure if it was the 50 or 30 i think it was the 50 like a head and a cabinet and that was just awesome for me my first tube amp and it sounded great and i used that quite a lot for probably two or three years after i bought it it was um um white or cream like this cream color and I thought it was really cool I think the cabinet the cabinet was uh, 4 by 10 actually it was a bit smaller than the 4 by 12s but yeah still um, that was a really good amp and I think 
um, still today I could enjoy that amp. I'm not sure why I decided to sell it. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to sell gear at all, but uh, yeah, I was really happy with the crate, but I think maybe I saw someone use a Fender and I wanted to get into that. So that was when I bought my first Fender amp, or probably my only Fender amp, yeah. That was the Fender Hot Rod DeVille. That was great, of course, but it was so freaking loud and so heavy. I think, I think the DeVille model has, you can get them with 2x12 and maybe 4x10, I'm not sure, but it was huge and it was loud and it was heavy. Uh, but I still like the Hot Rod series from Fender. Like if I go to a venue, I I often ask for a Hot Rod Deluxe. They are one of my favorite amps actually. And again, for some reason, I decided to sell the Hot Rod and I ended up with uh, uh, an orange Rockerverb 50 head. Um, I think I'd seen someone play on orange amps live I thought they looked really cool and started checking out demos on YouTube that was like probably around when I got into watching YouTube demos probably maybe the first time I saw some Rob Chapman demos was from his demos of the orange amps I got the 50 rock reverb head and I bought a famous 2x12 cabinet and I used that for quite a while and I was happy with it but I am i wasn't too keen on the clean sound I think they have done something to it now with the Rock Reverb Remark 3 or something I've, I think I heard that the clean sound is a lot better there now but yeah um, I wasn't too happy with the clean sound so I sold the head and I kept the cabinet and I bought um, my first boutique kind of amp and that was the 65 amps London Pro and I was so excited when I bought it I didn't even try it I bought it um, online and I was quite disappointed the first time I plugged into it because I was expecting a lot from, they have this ma uh, master voltage where you can bring down like the wattage uh, of the amp, I think. And yeah, it really wasn't for me. I don't, I think it wasn't for me. I don't think the head matched the cabinet as well as it should. I think it would, would have been better if I had a 65 cabinet as well. And yeah, there were some. I had to do some. Uh, I had to send it to to a repair guy a couple of times. Uh, yeah, it wasn't for me. I was. I would still like to try some sixty five stuff. Uh, maybe with a matching cabinet and see how the other models sound. But yeah, the London Pro wasn't for me, so I, I sold that one. And then I bought the Tonking Falcon. That was probably one of the first amps that was like, yeah, this is really getting close to what I want. Or it was kind of, yeah, it was what I wanted. And I've had that amp for a really long time now. I sold it quite recently um, because I kind of don't have any space for it. And I used my other amp which I bought after the Fal Falcon I used that one more so I really couldn't sit on two amps in this small apartment so I had to sell the Falcon but yeah that was a really really good amp and kind of wish that I still had it so um, after selling uh, the 65 I bought Falcon and then I also bought a Tonking Imperial and I bought the 20th anniversary model which is hand wired and that that 
is my current amp and that is probably my favorite amp ever that I've tried. That's one that I mostly use in my videos. For a while I changed it up a bit. Sometimes I use the Falcon and sometimes I use the Imperial for my videos but probably for the last one and a half year I've only used the Imperial. And that's probably an amp that I will have forever as long as I play guitar and I would definitely like to check out some other stuff but I would probably just keep um, the Imperial and then check out some other stuff if I'm getting something new. So yeah that's my history with amplifiers and I will probably make an episode where I talk about all the guitars that I owned during um, those 20 years as well. So see you in the next one. Goodbye.